with kidney disease, can you chelate and treat? For one, different metals have different affinity for areas in the body and quite a few studies actually about looking at um, chelation in people with kidney disease who have had... Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath Fiona Chip, and I am joined today by the beautiful Emily Carhill. So we thought today we'd talk about heavy metals. So why don't we... um, yeah, do a bit of an overview of what a heavy metal is and where it comes from and whether it's something actually people have to worry about or whether it's a really rare thing if people have exposure or potentially high levels and just dig in from them. So heavy metals are basically present everywhere. Um, so they're, they're naturally present in the earth so some heavy metals are naturally present in the earth um, and then they're also used in things like agriculture or medicine in different type of industries mm-hmm. there's different i guess classes of heavy metals because some things that are classed as a heavy metal are also uh, minerals that our body needs so i guess you can you know divide them up into you know the potentially more damaging types of heavy metals. So things like um, copper, um, chromium, zinc, which are all also necessary for the body are classified as heavy metals. But I guess when people are talking about the detriment, detrimental effects of heavy metals, um, yes, all of those things can be detrimental if they're in high amounts, but we're particularly thinking about things like arsenic or lead, um, mercury or cadmium. So those sort of things that aren't naturally um, supposed to be present in the body and you know don't have a, a, a beneficial effect in the body so I think you know there's people don't realize how ubiquitous I guess heavy metals are in our environment um they get you know large amounts of them that are you know produced as industrial waste and um used in agriculture and the thing about them is that they're not biodegradable so someone has a test and they come back and they're positive. Do you treat all heavy metals the same? Is there different protocols for different heavy metals? Well, how we, what are we going to do if we've got a positive or someone where we go, well, they've got heavy metals, they've got kidney disease, we don't want them. Actually, I've got a two-pronged question there. It's like with kidney disease, can you chelate and treat? And do you? how do you treat? Are we treating them all the same or do you do slightly differently for each metal? Um, so... Uh, yes, slightly different, differently for each metal because, um, for one, different metals have different affinity for areas in the body and um, so the way that the body needs to be protected as well while you're chelating can be slightly different um, as well as different chelating agents have um, different affinity for, I guess, different heavy metals as well. So let's go. Sorry, Andrew, you were going to keep going, so I'll be quiet. No, that's right. Um, and I was just going to, yeah, add to the second part of someone with kidney disease. Um, can you chelate? Do you chelate? Uh, yeah, there's, you know, there are a, quite a few studies actually about looking at um, chelation in people with kidney disease who have had high levels of heavy metal and um, the improvement in kidney function following chelation. So, yes, you can. You're not, you wouldn't be worried about overburdening a already declined kidney function if you did chelation promptly. You'd have to, um, I guess, take someone, you know, you'd obviously take someone's kidney function into account as to how quickly or aggressively um, potentially that you would you would do any chelation. So if you've liked the video, make sure you hit like and hit subscribe. And that way you'll know anytime we put up a new video. If you need any more information about Kidney Coach and who we are, head over to www.kidneycoach.com. If you were interested in the Kidney Advanced um, supplement that I spoke about there that's got uh, alpha lipoic acid and N-acetylcysteine in good levels there and in the right form for kidney function, they're all available on the website. I think that's it. And Emily, thank you again for your wisdom and knowledge and sharing with our community. And hopefully you are all heavy metal free. So enjoy the rest of your day, uh, wherever you're tuning in from. Thank you for being part of our community. And yeah, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. And we'll talk to you next time.
Thanks, Emily. Bye. Bye. Thank you.